Welcome to Blender VT30, and uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, animate an exploding chain. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, mainly, it's just going to be uh, like a donut shaped chain through here. You can change it uh, to whatever you want. I'll show you what I mean. Just go to uh, Spacebar, Add, Mesh, Torus. Okay? And scale up a little bit. <coughs> Okay, so there's our Taurus. I'm just going to set it to smooth. Alright. Uh, so, the first thing you need to do is go down. And I'm going to introduce a new type of button set. So we have edit buttons and material and all that. There's a little purple Pac-Man button. Just hit him. You don't need to know what any of this is. This is for all the. This is for the game engine. If you already don't know that. And for your Taurus, hit Actor... Uh, dynamic rigid body bounds and convex hole. This will um, allow you to put a bounding box around your uh, object without having to make one. Um, rigid body and dynamic and actor will allow it to uh, allow it to uh, act out in the game engine. So the first thing we need to do is shifty. I'm just going to bring this over a little bit. I'm going to go into side view and rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, this, now we have, um, let me scale it down a little bit. Now we have our first beginning link. So all you need to do is select both of them. Shift D, bring it over. Shift D, bring it over. And then you can just select them all and then keep going. Okay. bring it over this way once oh. all right <clears throat> and you can lay this out in the order that you need it if you need this one rotated or something just rotate it I'm gonna move uh, I don't need to do anything else now the game engine is very effective. Um, I've seen really good games created. I don't know how to do that. I'm learning still. And um, you can use the game engine also to record physics. And how I'm going to do this is go to the IPO one, uh, curve editor. And also at the top where it says file add timeline game and render, hit the game and it, sa it should say record game physics to IPO. Just select that one. And this will record whatever happens in the game. All right. While in object mode, with your uh, objects, with the actor and dynamic rigid body and convex hole, make sure those are set up right. Okay. Once you've set that up <clears throat> in the game engine, uh, just hit the P the P key to start the game engine or go to game and start game. I suggest hitting the P key uh, so you can see everything immediately. Hit the P key, and now you can see the links just explode. The reason they're exploding is because the um, bounding boxes are inside of each other, and since I didn't change anything, um, the 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 engine itself will merge them apart. Okay, so just hit exit, and now your um, everything's been recorded. So all you have to do is hit Alt A, or hold Alt and then hit the A key. Now you can see your links just destroyed. All right. Very cool. All right. <clears throat> Another thing you can do is um I'm going to add a plane in. I'm just going to bring it down to make sure your plane doesn't move out of the way. I'm going to just center new the cursor here to the uh, object. Go to actor and that don't hit anything else. Well, you have to hit uh, bounds convex hole but just hit uh, if you don't want the game engine to move but you want stuff to hit off of it, hit actor bounds and convex hole okay and now it, you see how we have some links going through it if we just hit the P in, uh, the P key again and start the game engine over we'll have our links bouncing off the object hopefully let me see if I got this to work right okay yeah we had our, our links bouncing off of the object 
okay and that's how it's done um, I've seen people uh, use make dominoes and all types of things with this but um, that's just the main way to do it is to use the game engine to uh, record physics uh, hope you found this tutorial useful